my vlog. It's Monday. It's freezing. I look absolutely disgusting. I have a final tonight at 7 p.m. It's like 2 now. I'm gonna go study in the student center until my final. y'all so i'm back from my final it's 9 23 i actually finished the final at like oh my gosh it's 9 23 already um i finished the final in like an hour so i'll i it started at seven and i was done at like eight ish and then my roommate and i went and got um some food really quick from panera in the library and now i'm back in my dorm and i need to i couldn't decide if i was gonna shower or study first but i think i'm gonna um shower really quickly just so i'm like ready for bed and then I can just stay, obviously I'm not going to bed early, um, I have my two hardest exams tomorrow, so I'll be up studying, but I just wanted to make sure I'm ready for bed, so as soon as I'm done studying, I can get some sleep, like, I don't want to be too tired, but I did sit in the same spot in the library, student center, not the library, the library is super crowded during finals week, in case anyone was wondering, I mean, that's kind of common sense, but it's too crowded, like, I couldn't stand to be in there. I don't need study hours anymore for my sorority, so I was like, I'll study literally anywhere else where there's not a bunch of people because I cannot concentrate, but um, normally the library is fine. But anyways, I spent four hours in the Starbucks in the student center today, and I mean, I got my coffee, but I just sat there for four hours at a table. I listened to like different podcasts. I listened to Schnitt Talk, which if you know who Ellie is on Twitter that works for Barstool, she has her own podcast called Schnitt Talk, and it's really funny and relatable. I like just entertaining like people talking um that are my age and I also listen to the gals let go podcast with Danielle Carolyn and Brooke Michio I mentioned that in another vlog but I like listen to those ones actually and um I just like listened to those and some music and got work done and basically grinded on my <laughs> on my studying but I still need to outline I picked a topic for my like essay part of my Brit lit exam tomorrow I'm sorry I'm rambling but like <sighs> I'm still like jittery it's cold outside this is just going to be like a week of me just talking to you because I obviously can't vlog during my exams so I'm basically just going to like catch you up all at once and everybody's just going to deal with it and enjoy it. Okay, make sure you're subscribed. Anyways, um, for my Brit Lit exam tomorrow, part of it, like not the whole thing, it's like multiple choice questions, four short answer questions which is actually like one to two paragraphs each. And then there's like a whole essay and like I mean you have two and a half hours but like you have to she gave us a like four different prompts we could choose from and then we had to pick one of the texts we read over the semester and make an outline like a thesis and like pick quotes and stuff and like all of that and like outline the essay in detail and we could only bring the outline with us to the exam and we have to write a full essay in the exam so I'm kind of nervous for that because I just thought I was done writing essays but like, apparently not um for the semester at least and I also have my world history final tomorrow which is the one I need to do best on and that's at noon tomorrow so pray for me but I mean I finished my study guides and all that for that I just need to study and study and study like I'm a little nervous that it's nine something and I still need to shower and study but you know it's okay I've had my phone on do not disturb all day today and it's been really nice like my mom texted me and I responded like an hour and a half later I was like, sorry, I had my phone on do not disturb. <laughs> like, I felt so rude, but I was like, I just, I need to study and focus. And honestly, it worked. And after tomorrow, after I finish my two, two exams, tomorrow I'm going to feel so much better, even though I have one on Wednesday. But I'm just really not concerned about my one on Wednesday. Like, I mean, I have the study guide filled out for it, and I'll study for it tomorrow night. Like, I'm going to the library tomorrow night. I have a study room to study for it. But it's just not as big of a concern as the ones that are tomorrow. That's just point blank, you know? Um, so I'm gonna shower, <sighs> breathe for a second. I just let myself watch two YouTube videos as a, like, brain break, but it's not really a brain break because I was staring at a screen, but it's okay, you know, the shower's gonna be a brain break. I don't have to wear my glasses in the shower because my head hurts from, um, 
well I mean like the weather makes my head hurt if that makes any sense but also wearing my glasses all day if I don't wear them my head hurts but if I wear my glasses all day and then I take them off my head hurts so um I've been wearing them all day and yeah oh and the weather okay last update before I get in the shower can you tell I'm stalling um the weather is like cold it's like in the 30s and it's it's rainy but like rainy isn't the right word when you walk outside it's like cold mist no matter where you walk it's not like pouring which is nice so you don't have to bring an umbrella unless you like really care about your hair but I don't clearly um and which I did straighten my hair this morning but it's fine um it's just a constant like not even a drizzle because you know a drizzle is like actual like drops of water hitting your face it's like like somebody is just like following you around with like a water mister and just spraying you in the face all day long it's the weirdest thing didn't really do that in florida but it's just annoying because my glasses like get wet every time i walked outside today which wasn't that often and then when i was walking back it was cold and it's just like it makes it so much colder than it actually is because it's like upper 30s which i know i sound so tough i'm like upper 30s isn't that cold even though i'm from florida but i've adjusted adapted um it's just it's cold and gross and wet and i'm just ready for the sun and the beach okay i'm gonna shower and then study and i may or may not see you again tonight but probably tomorrow <laughs>
a bunch of the seniors that are graduating from Auburn were taking their pictures out on Samford Lawn, which I've showed that in my other vlogs, but it's like, it's a important place to people. Okay, so I'm sitting on my floor right now, um, packing. I like have clothes all around me. Um, it's like eight o'clock now and I'm just now starting to pack and I wanna leave here before seven tomorrow morning. So yeah, I'll update you like while I'm in the car cause I have to go get gas in the morning. Um, yeah, I had my last final today, so I'm done, so that's cool, but I'm really stressed because I need to pack and, like, get ready and then, like, get some sleep, so I'll talk to you in the morning and we'll have a little car chat. Okay, bye. Hi, guys. It's, like, 7.15. Um, I just, um, uh, left my dorm, got my car all packed. I'm currently in the Dunkin' drive through line because I really need coffee and something to eat, um, and then I'm gonna be on my way home. I have, like, an eight and a half to nine hour drive ahead of me basically but um i also lose an hour because it's an hour later there so um yeah i'll try to update you like during the road trip if i remember but to be totally honest last time it's kind of overwhelming because i film on my phone but i also like have my maps on my phone and my music or whatever i listen to i'll probably listen to some podcasts but um I need my phone for everything, so the chances of me remembering to film are slim, but I shall try. <laughs> it is me by myself. Um, just to sum it up for you, I don't know what I vlogged yesterday, but I got A's on my first three exams. I'm pretty pumped about it, and then I still don't know the grade of my exam that I took yesterday, but um, I'm super thankful for this semester. Like I've learned a lot. I've met some great people. And I was just feeling very blessed yesterday walking to my exam and there were a bunch of seniors taking grad pictures on Sanford Lawn and it just like, I had a, one of those moments, you know those moments where you're just like extra thankful to be alive and be where you are. Like those times when I was stressed for the exams and like other times during the semester where I was like, I can't do this. I just remember that like I prayed to get into this school. Like I've dreamed of going to the school since I was literally like two years old. So um, yeah, I just hope whatever you're doing in life, you're very thankful right now. So I'm feeling very thankful. I'm excited to be home for the holidays for like three and a half weeks. <laughs> um, so yeah. Hi guys, I'm in Lenox, Georgia right now, or Tifton, whatever. Um, I just stopped at a rest stop by myself because I really had to pee, but I was like, I can vlog because there's literally no one here. So I have four and a half hours left. Bye. Hi guys, so um, just a quick little update. I stopped at Chick-fil-A for lunch and my Estimated time of arrival ETA when I first left Auburn was like 3.30 and then with all the traffic that I've had to go through and then I had to stop once to go pee and then I just now had to stop for lunch and I need to get gas because I only have a quarter of a tank left but um yeah now it's like five something is my ETA so that's great um I'm really tired but I only have like three or so hours left so it's not that bad. Hi guys, so I've been back home for a couple hours now. Um, my my road trip that was supposed to be around eight-ish hours turned into 11 hours because of traffic. And there was some like really bad accidents and stuff that happened on the route that I'm supposed to take home. So we had a lot of setbacks and it's okay because you know what, like those accidents, accidents didn't happen to me. Like that wasn't about me. That was just, I was collateral damage in that and like that's okay you know I could have been affected I could have been part of that accident I could be way worse so um I'm really happy to be home I had dinner with my mom and watched a movie and then the rest of my family came home so um sorry I didn't vlog the rest of my road trip but I just was kind of stressed because it was a long day <laughs> but um thank you for sticking with me through finals week and I will be posting more consistently now that I'm home so subscribe um and like this video and stay tuned for the rest of vlogmas bye guys Thank you.